Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am recording this video from my office today and if you guys don't know, I own a brand called Reeve Apparel so I'm here with all like the stock. So today I'm here with a video that you guys have been requesting for ages now and the funny thing is that I already have a video here on my YouTube channel from like one or two years ago. It's how I edit and take my Instagram pictures but the funny thing is that with the time uh, between the videos, my Instagram changed a lot. I like to change my Instagram a lot because it keeps me inspired. I've been doing this for a few years now and sometimes I lack creativity and that way if I challenge myself with that kind of stuff like uh, organizing the feed by colors and all that, it really helps me to keep inspired. So let's start this. The first thing is to plan the outfits. Right now, since I'm doing my Instagram by color, I definitely need to think prior to shooting what I'm going to wear and where I'm going to shoot. So I usually just think two or three color themes prior to shooting to make sure all the outfits that I'm planning match the color themes that I intend to do. Now, after you plan the outfits and the pictures you want to take, you are going to go out for a shoot. And for the shoot, the two things that you need to plan is first, who is going to take your pictures. So if it's a picture that you can take yourself, like a selfie or food picture or details, perfect. If not, you're probably going to need help. And I usually ask my boyfriend, my friends, find someone that can go with you. It's not needed to go like out just for the shoot. You can go like grab a coffee or something, um, dress yourself like you want to take the picture and ask the person who is with you to take it. And the second thing is pick the place. I use a lot of like gray, white backgrounds because the colors pop more. Also, sometimes I even play around with backgrounds like if I'm doing a yellow theme and my outfit is black and gray or black and white, I can use the yellow as a background. So find a yellow wall or a yellow house that you can use as a background and it will help you with your feet colors and all of that. Other places that you can pick are coffee shops and restaurants that work really great on outfits. And also, you can take a picture of the coffee and use it, take a picture of you drinking the coffee, and then you can take a picture of your full outfit. So if you can think of places like that, it will help you a lot and you can generate a bunch of content in just one shooting. Now that you are on the location and ready to shoot, you have your person with you, now you need to worry about poses. So if you have a hard time with poses and it's not your thing and you feel awkward taking shots in public, I would advise you to go to a place where what you're going to do is very natural like for example a coffee place if you're sitting down on a coffee shop with your friend and you're drinking a coffee and your friend is sitting across from you and taking pictures of you it's going to feel much more natural and people around you is not going to look at you and realize right away that you're um, shooting outfits and even if you're doing full outfit pictures outside if you have something on your hand like a coffee a juice something it will definitely help you out because if you don't know what to do with your hands and with your body it feels much more natural if you're holding something if you're doing an activity that you are so used to like drinking a coffee if you feel more comfortable and are ready for something different and more edgy I would recommend you to add movement to your shots. Lately I've been uh, adding more movement to my pictures because I really like the result. So usually I try to look like I'm just walking and I, I'm going to insert a clip of me doing that. It looks very awkward on public, people look at you like you're a lunatic and it looks weird. So if you're not comfortable, probably it's not like the best thing for you to do right away but eventually if you feel comfortable it's something that works really well on pictures you will get some nice shots in between for the eyes i really advise you to play around with them as well so while you're taking shots try to look to the side look up look down and then look to the camera and try to play around so you can get different pictures otherwise all will look the same so you can play around with that too and play a lot with hands if you feel comfortable like uh, posing with your hands on your face, hands on the pockets, hands on the jacket, whatever. Other thing is the hair flip. 
you guys probably know from my Instagram it's kind of a signature pose that I have and that I do a lot and you can do it with your hair loose or like this with a ponytail and hair movement is very easy if you have long hair and even with short hair um, I think it's very easy even if it's just a little bit of the hair that it's moving it gives a lot of dynamic to your shots so I usually just pull my head a little bit uh, back so my hair can uh, go around <laughs> loose and free and I try to add this movement to my shots from one side to the other it looks very weird but between the pictures one of them at least are going to look great so if you feel comfortable with it try the hair flip other thing that is very important is the angles so you need to know your angles and that works for every style of picture even like for food pictures a good angle makes a huge difference so usually if i'm taking full outfit pictures i like the person that is taking my pictures to put the phone like this just in front of the like chest area if you do this you look very very short so this is a great angle but what sometimes i use as well is this angle from um, bottom to the top so you look taller tell the person who's taking the pictures to try to crop more of the space below your feet than above your head if it's a detailed picture of the outfit like these ones i always crop my head so i tell the person to do like this from top to bottom so you can crop your head and really focus on the details of your outfit and if it's um, a feet picture I, I just usually take them myself just like this and try to crop everything but a little bit of leg and the feet for all these pictures that I told you about I usually like to take them outside I feel it's more natural than taking inside and you can have more variety in backgrounds so when you're taking pictures outside something that we need to talk about is the lighting so for me and i think on instagram every like insta girl uh, is different and some people like one thing more than another and it's not right or wrong here it's just personal preference for me i like to avoid the sun on my face if it's direct sun i usually get a lot of shadows here from the eyelashes and all that stuff that i really don't like so if you're taking pictures uh, on the shade, I don't know if it's shade that you say, the entire body will get more uh, contrast. So for me, it works much better. And if it's a selfie, I prefer to take them inside. So just keep in mind to go in front of a window or if you don't have any windows, just open the door and try to get the light uh, from the inside. Now that I gave you all the tips, on how to shoot, I'm going to the next phase, which is selecting the pictures. And this is a hard stage for me, I, I gotta be honest, I hate selecting pictures. So yeah, it's a process that I really don't like, but I need to do. So on the iPhone, at least, we have this option, which is to like the picture, give it a little heart. That kind of selects the pictures for you. So I scroll around my camera roll and I give a little heart to the ones that I feel I like the most. And if you do that, at least on iPhone, they are going to a folder called Favorites. If it's going to be a single post, I'll try to reduce, reduce, reduce until it's only one left. But if there are too many that I like, I usually try to pick like three or four and do a carousel post. And after you have your pictures selected, it's time for editing. So I guess this part is the part you guys are most curious about and always asking me about. So the two apps, and these are the only two apps that I use for editing, are Facetune. Yes, I use Facetune. Now everyone's like, oh. no, I don't edit pictures like crazy, but I like some uh, features of Facetune too, which I'm going to get in a second. And the other app that I use is Lightroom, so I can edit the colors and contrast and all that stuff. So I usually go first to Facetune, I open the app, and my Facetune is in Portuguese, so I'm sorry if you don't understand anything from the screenshot that I'm going to post here. And the things that I use are the smooth. Usually your skin can be a little bit textured. And I like to use the smooth tool to just smooth it all out and not like crazy. You don't want to look like uh, you're a Barbie doll or something, but it really helps to take that texture away. Actually, they have two tools. They have the smooth and like the double or extra smooth. I'm not sure. I just use the smooth one because the other one is too strong. So after the smooth, the other tool that I love on Facetune is the details. Maybe it has another name in English, but it's this a triangle option here. I usually apply this just on the eyes or if there's any like jewelry you want to really pop on the picture it really helps as well and I usually use it like to half 
of the strength or a little bit more. Now that we finished the retouching option, there's another option that I like on Facetune, which is this little brush here. But I only use the skin one, usually I only use the skin one and this new feature that they have that is kind of glitter. So on the skin one what I do is try to find like a dark grey uh, to give it a little bit of shadow to the places where you use your contour. And if I feel like it a little bit where I put my eyeshadow with a little bit of pink for the blush as well. And just give it that pop because sometimes the makeup when it's a full outfit picture really loses its strength. And the last thing here is that glitter that they added this is kind of a new feature they added but i really like to put it on top of the highlighter it really helps to pop your highlighter as well so yeah that's the things on facetune that i like just a little bit of retouching not so much but it really helps popping your picture. In Lightroom what I do is open the picture that I just added on Facetune and then I apply a custom preset that I did myself. You can buy presets from people, there are a lot of people selling presets, but I just played around with Lightroom for uh, maybe like a month trying to figure it out and trying stuff with my pictures. I think you can do the same yourself and get to that editing that you really like. If there's one picture that you tested that really has the editing that you like, you can save that editing as a preset and then apply it to all your pictures. And that way your Instagram feed will be much more appealing and everything will match. So I usually use the same editing for all my pictures. I didn't mess around too much on my editing on my preset, but mostly what I changed here on my editing was the shadows. I brightened them up a little bit, I added a little bit of contrast and then I played around with the colors. So mostly on the yellows I like to brighten them up and the greens, I usually take a lot of saturation from the greens. I added a little bit more saturation to the orange, that's the preset that I made. But it's nothing special, just a little bit of play around with the Lightroom and you will find a preset that works for you. There's something that I've been doing that's one of the like greatest things that I discovered and it's been helping me a lot, which is to plan my Instagram feed before posting it. So I would really advise you to download the app Preview, it's the one that I've been using and Preview lets you preview the feed before you post it. And for me, that I organize my feed by color, it's a tool that I can't live without because it really helps me to see how the entire colors will match. And Preview, it's such an easy app to work with, you just need to import the pictures that you want. And then you can just drag them on the screen and change position to play around and just see what you guys like. You can delete the pictures and import new ones. It's very, very easy to use. So that's it guys, we have everything done now and all that's left is to post, think of a great caption, tag the brands and you're ready to go. Let me know in the comments if you found any of these tips useful. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to comment your ideas. Bye guys, see you next time, love you.